Hey guys, I'm Katie Nolan and I'm sitting the fuck down for once. Standing in front of a green screen in the spare bedroom of your apartment is just awkward and it wasn't doing much for my humor, so we're gonna try this for a little bit. But don't worry, I still have your top headlines for Thursday, January 12th. Today we're gonna touch upon how often you guys change your underwear and what it's like when white people try to talk like rappers. All that and more right here on your guys in Speed Round. So it turns out that Khloe Kardashian is actually not a Kardashian. The woman who married Robert Kardashian right after Chris Jenner. It's annoying and it's confusing, but bear with me, you'll get it. Robert Kardashian's ex-wife has actually come forward and revealed that Khloe Kardashian is not a Kardashian. Wow. I would never have guessed that. Nothing gives that away at all. You know why else this rules is because I suck at memorizing lines and now I have them right in front of my face. Katy Perry's family is reaching out to Tim Tebow and asking him to speak at their church. This is probably gonna spark romance rumors about the two of them and quite honestly, I think they'd be a great pair. They're both famous for spending a lot of time on their knees. But if that rack is gonna be Tim's first, he'll finish way before the fourth quarter for once. Some documents from the Casey Anthony trial have been released revealing that she told psychiatrists Kaylee was the product of date rape. So she was a constant reminder of the most horrible moment of your life. Yeah, you totally didn't kill her. Those car bombs in Brooklyn that were originally thought to be anti-Semitic actually turn out to be motivated by insurance fraud, which means that they were out to get some money. And doesn't that mean that they were Semitic? This one is personally very sad for me. Hostess has declared bankruptcy. Apparently the sale of Twinkies has dwindled in recent years because people are starting to be more health conscious. I'll miss you in your cream-filled center. I said that to my ex-boyfriend once. Mmm, according to this delicious study, one in five men don't change their underwear every day. Which actually confirms the finding of my study that four out of five men are liars. A woman has been inspired to write a book about sex after having an orgasm during an MRI. Great. Like we need to give women another reason to lie perfectly still during sex. So, um... Parents in Greece have apparently started to dump their children in the streets because they can't afford to take care of them anymore? What do you even, what do I even say about that? That's not real life. You can't, you can't just have a kid and then decide you don't want it anymore and throw it in the street. This isn't teen mom. Go get a job or something or find someone else to take care of it. Write Madonna an email. She's always jet setting. Or Angelina Jolie. They love exotic children. Fuck. McDonald's in the UK is going to be offering books with their Happy Meals instead of toys because a new study shows that one in three British children doesn't own a book. So books used to cost around two pounds, now they're going to cost about 300. The manager at Boner's Barbecue in Atlanta unleashed a rant online against a customer who came in and didn't tip. He didn't tip? What a jerk off. That guy sounds like a real dickhead. I mean, he really gave you the shaft. Penis. And lastly, Courtney Stodden popped up in a Funnier Die video. And it wasn't funny. So when does she die? So that's going to do it for your speed round. I know it's a little different, and I probably don't have to tell you this because you're going to do it anyway, but let me know what you think in the comment section. And I will see you tomorrow with more headlines that you need to know. Oh, well, my foot's asleep. Ow! Oh! Ha! Tickle.